Hello, beautiful. What is your name? Hi, my name is Carla Nicole. Nice to meet you. Can you please walk me through your outfit today? Yeah, absolutely. So this is a Naomi Osaka Nike collab. It's a tennis skirt with a sport. And it's got a yes. phone pocket, which I love. We need pockets. Yeah, I love utility in combination with an outfit. It's my favorite look. And I love to be comfortable but still feel glam. And then the shoes. Yes, so these are my Converse's. I need a good platform because short queen buy one. <laughs> and we got the, average height. the Louis bag. Yes, my and mom got this strap on vacation and I stole it from her, so I had to combine it. <laughs> and the jewelry. Yeah, so this is again courtesy to my mom's closet. And then these rings I've collected throughout time. <laughs> And what is your fashion inspiration? My fashion inspiration is streetwear along with like preppy. So I always grew up kind of like adoring like preppy vintage looks and I wanted to combine streetwear and like being glam and yeah, and this is what it is. <laughs> Do you have a dream fashion item you've had your eyes on for a long time that you haven't been able to get your hands on just yet? Um, yeah, so the Pete's Pleats Please, is that how you say it? The Issey Miyake collab or whatever it is with all the pleats and all the different colors. I would love to have sets of those. They look so comfortable, they're super colorful, and the silhouette is really nice. Okay, yeah, so it's a multicolor piece. Yeah, they're, they come in all different colors. You know how Kim K has her skims mm -hmm. and like, you can get the same set over and over again? Pleats Please is literally that, but pleated, different silhouettes, and it's amazing. I love that. And if you were a fashion designer, who would you like to collab with first? Um, Kim Jones. So Kim Jones, he's the creative director for Dior, um, but he does the men's only. And I would love to see him like branch out into the women's wear as well. He does like really clean, but maximalist streetwear, which I really love. Okay, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And I love the look. Have a good thank night. You. Hello again. Hello, hello. Tell them your name. Purcelli. We're here on day two for the Red yes. Studios Nostalgia. Got the fit check. Got my rose. We've got the outfit is inspired by these custom glasses. A piece that I got from Tam. She made this with crystals and I wanted to incorporate it in my shirt, in the jewelry. Um, we got the rings, of course, matching nails the turquoise belt for the deets and this cute little blue tight moment to just bring it all back together. back of the shoes is open. Yes, we got the kitty heels. <laughs> and look at the detailing on this shirt. Yes. I super love cute. that touch right there. It really adds a lot to yes, the shirt. super cute with the matching um, necklace. The choker goes so well with the roses on and the shirt. And with the um, eyeglass holder. Yes, it all ties in. Kept the one no earrings. <laughs> And how long did it take you to like pair this outfit together? Was minutes. it like a couple of minutes? Just like you, you were like bam, right then and there. That matches, that I, I, matches. Um, literally, I base all my outfits off of just statement pieces. So I got these, I, she showed me these, this glass piece. I was like, yes, love it. And I was just going thrifting, found a, a top. And then I just kind of paired everything together with things I had at home. I also have uh, custom jewelry as well by Mushy as well. So I just try to get put together outfits from my local artists. This one is from Mushi though. Yeah, she handmade these. Oh, that's Each amazing. Heart. And even the yeah, latch is so tagger. cute. So dope. I love so I it. I try Thanks. to just base the, the outfits off of my locals, you know, supporting artists. So you wouldn't say that you have a dream fashion item that you have your eyes on? If or is there a piece of article or, or um, shoes, jewelry that mm -hmm. you think you need more of in your wardrobe? I think well, I, I, there's not something in particular I would say that I would like. I, I'm pretty content with anything. Um, I really love jewelry. Maybe a custom jewelry piece with crystals would be really neat. But if I had to say something that I would love to have, maybe a diesel shirt. Like, you know, just diesel moment would be great. <laughs> but otherwise... Um, I would say the, the best thing to have in my closet is something made by someone that I know close to me. So, yeah. <laughs> So um, I know you say you have a lot of staple pieces. Is there anything in your wardrobe that is more of like a basic piece that you 
pull out more often than others? I would say a basic piece that I always pull together is like a skirt. I like to go for neutral uh, bottoms. I feel like they tie in like the crazy shirts that I have and the crazy blazers. That's a good tip right there. Yeah, so I like to go with, you're gonna go with a basic piece, go with something that's basic but it's very easy to layer with. Like a, a black midi uh, bodycon dress is a go-to because you could always throw a sweater over it. You could always put a, a skirt over it and have just the top of it. You could layer blazers, sweat, like, you know, like cardigans. Yes. So if you're going to get something basic, go for something that's iconic and really easy to layer. That's my biggest advice. And how do you feel about fashion in New York City? Fashion in New York City is, I would say, my favorite thing to see. I, we had day one, everybody was pulling out with the craziest fits, so I love the fashion scene in New York. It's just great to see all the different styles that come from different parts of like the world in general, and just how they just come together and mix. And it's just a breath of fresh air just to see people feel comfortable to dress how they feel and how they want. And, and thank awesome. you for creating and curating yeah. a space where like-minded individuals can come together yes. and share their passions and their work. It's, it's a pleasure. I just want to create a safe place for creators, you know, just to feel freely to be themselves. So it's, it's an honor just to have everybody come through and just pop off, not only with their art, but their, their outfits too, because that's art too, just the form of the expression. So thank you so much for no your time. Of course. Hello yeah. again. The art creator from one art space, but we got a new do. Loving the hair. I made the shirt. Yes, let me get the details on this outfit. We got the bag Oh, so beautiful with the birds. I love how it goes. It really ties in from the front to the yeah, back. The extension I love it. And we then got the, the pants. matching shoes as well. Shoes made by me. Yes, let me get the details. Gorgeous. And the green with the green top. We got the so jewelry, well. we got the nails. You know, I had the deets, the deets, the deets, of course. <laughs> Fabulous. Thank you, Star Earrings. So what was this inspiration for that this outfit? So the inspiration about this outfit was basically based off of my art today. So everything is nostalgia, stars. You know, I, I feel like when I was a kid, I used to always do stars, always do eyes. So I was like, let me mix and incorporate a little bit of that. We got the, the quotes too, so above and beyond. So a lot of my pieces have birds, butterflies, so they're all flying and going beyond. So that's basically what inspired today's fit. And also just, you know, a little bit of color. This color is fun. Yes, you look so good. Right. Hi, what's your name? Uh, Neo. Nice to meet you. I'm loving this hat. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Let me get a detailed shot on the pins you put on it too. Oh, oh it's okay. I can see them. Well, what I are the pins? pins oh yeah, let me check out. This bag is dope too. Like I really like the wait, one, two, three, four. And I like the pants too. Oh, thank you. The pants, the white legs. Yeah, look at the details on that. My friend customized these for me. Oh dope, what's your friend's name? Uh Zeno or Mob8 on Instagram. Mob8 on Instagram. Yeah. Love the pants and got some Doc Martens on the feet. Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, where's that bag from though? It's Eastsider, I'm pretty sure. It's like, I think they're from New York. Okay, dope. And the hat, where's the hat from? Uh, it's from a brand, Instagram brand, Skinhead. I think that's what it's called, yeah. That's dope, that's dope. Do you usually go with an all black outfit? Yeah, all my outfits are black or like a included white or like just like denim, that's about it. Gotcha, do you think you have a fashion inspiration? Yeah, my, my inspiration is just like like Harajuku, like Japanese fashion, I guess. Oh, I love that. So like I saw the pin. Just like inspiration from that, yeah. And the necklace. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what this is. This is just, um, I guess on eBay for like two bucks. Gotcha. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Do you have a fashion item that you've been wanting for a long time that you haven't been able to get just yet? There's a bag, it's called Craig Morrison Bug Bag. Craig Morrison. Like $1,000 and I, I'm not spending $1,000. Craig Morrison what bag? Bug bag. Book it, bag. It, it has okay. like a bunch of spikes in the back and stuff. It's pretty cool. Okay, dope, dope. And if you were a fashion designer, who would you like to collab with first? Um, Mason Margiela. Yes, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, like the, the, the kiss stuff. Yeah, and of the course. The kiss stuff. Thank, Thank you, you so this. much for your time. Of Have course. a good night. Hello, what's your name? Hi, I'm Sierra Nickdow. Also nice. Sierra Miss on Instagram. Nice to meet you. Can you please walk me through your outfit today? 
So the whole outfit is different. I love that sustainable. Yeah, this was like $3 from... I went thrifting in uh, Florida. I went to... I'll link you the name. Okay, what a good price. I love I love the details. Mm, it was a little big, so I had to tie it up. The neck there. You made it work, but though. I had to make it work because I'm skinny. Everything's so big on me. Um, Earthed these at 2nd Avenue. These are also $5. Uh, I like a little cooking on it. Yes. Era. yes, I love the flare. Yes, and it pairs so well with the boots and the belt. This was also thrifted. I don't know. I'm just having a good day one day. And I was like, why would someone like give this up? I love the color coordination with the shades and the shirt. What would you say your fashion inspiration is? Mm -hmm. I don't really have one. I was mostly like how I'm feeling for the day. I usually coordinate my outfit based on like what I want to wear for today. So I knew I wanted to wear this top. So I usually coordinate how I want to style it and I, I go from there. Would, um, would you say you have a dream fashion item that you've had your eyes on for a while that you haven't been able to get your hands on just yet? I really want those new Mew platform sandals, like those ballet ones. What color? Black. Okay, yes, of course. Why did I ask? I love black. <laughs> yes. Absolutely black. And if you were a fashion designer, who would you love to collab with? I would say, that's a hard one. I would say Saint Laurent. Okay. Yeah, they're my favorite. They're kind of like my aesthetic, really like grungy. Usually today I'm not. Oh, and we can't forget the camera sporting the Polaroid today. I'm just shooting some artists today, so yeah. Thank you so much for your time. No Have a great night. Hello, what's your name? Hi, my name is Omar SB. Nice to meet you. Can you walk me through your outfit today? Okay, so the frames are Aquila. They're uh, blue light block opticals. They're not prescriptive. Um, shout out Aquila. Um, so you got good vision, but you just not. You just light, staying away you know, from the blue I, I light. Working on my laptop, so you okay. know I gotta block that. You know. Okay. 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 As you were saying, Mr. Yeah. 2020 vision. You feel me? <laughs> you know. Um, the jacket is awake. So, Oh, okay. Um, this is, so I used to work at Foot Locker like years back, and this case used to be like our name tags. Some reason, I don't know why I saved it, but I got back Yu Gi Oh cards and I started wearing them as a necklace. So this is Dark Magician for you guys. Do you change it out? Yeah, I changed it out. Yeah, I had a different one yesterday. I had a Sphinx Telia and Red Eye Zombie Dragon. I don't think a lot of people know about it, but. Okay, it's okay, and um, then. The skirt is a Uniglow Marnie collab. Um, bag Stussy. Um, and then the shoes are undercover Nike React boots. Um, these come with a pump too, so if you want to tighten them, you can pump it. Well, I've never seen those before. Yeah, these are the most comfortable boots of all time. Okay, I was just I'm, about to say. Yeah, they're so light too. I want to get another one. And that's amazing that they're light because usually you would think the boots would be on yeah. the heavier side. And like in the rain, they're durable. Like these been in the rain, the snow, and it's still been good. That's so up. Yeah. Do you have a fashion inspiration? Do I have a fashion inspiration? As of right now, I don't know. As of right now, this current moment, no, I can't think, but I don't know. Do you have a dream fashion item that you've had your eyes on for a long time that you have been able to get your hands on? Oh, yes. Um, Ricardo T. She's most of the collection. I had got the Dunk Lux highs and all the Air Force One highs in all three colors. I've been searching for those for God knows how long. And what is that called again? Ricardo Tishi, uh, Tiski Tishi, I don't know the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. um, Nike boots. Okay, yeah, okay. Well, there are three Air Force One uh, highs. They're like super highs. Mm -hmm. And then there's a Dunk Lux high. Okay, yeah, They came it. out like, I want to say like 2014, 2015. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those those was ahead of his time. Those were like, those are what Kanye and like Jay-Z was wearing for like Watch the Throne as a kids. Like they were wearing those. Like oh, Okay, okay. Like, I hate like falling in love with a shoe because I'm going through that with like two different pairs right now that like they're too old and like I can't find them anywhere type. Like, I mean, I, I don't think, I mean, it's not hard to find stuff that I want because I know how to search. Okay, there you yeah, go. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like a, I'm a search geek. I could be somebody's personal shopper if I really want And if to. you were a fashion designer, who would you love to collab with first? If I were the fashion designer, I would want to collab with first. 
Hmm. One? Anyone. Just one? You could main name more, okay. but. Stussy. Uh huh. Um, daily paper and Burberry. Okay, okay, interesting combination. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What would you start with first? Shoes, jewelry, coats, skirts, um, shirts. Oh I would God. I would start with I would start with skirts. Okay. I would start with skirts. You better make them with pockets. These have pockets. Okay. Yeah, you don't even know these have pockets. Yeah. Play. I'm gonna start with skirts. Then I'm uh I'm gonna make Regency uh, tees. Like back in like I don't know 16 Italian oh, yeah. and some like type of shirts. Okay, um, dope. Yeah, that's how I'll start with. And like um, I like uh, button up shirts, but with the with this cut instead of like the the U. I like oh, that. okay, I like yes. Yeah. Attention to detail. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Thank Enjoy you the rest of your you. evening. You too. You be safe. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, what's your name? Sasha Moretti. Nice to meet you. Can you walk me through your outfit today? Uh, right now, I got one of my flavors. I got apple tart, baked to perfection, fitted. It's from my latest collection. Um, I got a 2011 Marvel X DC Doom shirt. I got some APC denims on. I got the CDG foam posits. Okay, and the glasses? All designed by me. And so when you say flavor, you mean you have different caps and different flavor themes? Or? Yeah, different flavor themes. I have Neapolitan, I have OG Dunk, I have peanut butter and jelly. And the necklace? Um, This is by my boy. This is, there's only like 10 of these made. Oh man, exclusive. Yeah. And who's he? Gawa Khan. <laughs> what is it? Gawa Khan. Gawa Khan, okay. What's your fashion inspiration? Um... Willy Wonka. Okay, I see it. <laughs> I really like individualism. Like, um, yeah, I just, I just, I think wearing certain things that represent you and what you, what you like, and it just differentiates you from everybody else. Do you remember the very first thing you ever designed? Um, damn. Yeah, it was a, it was jeans from a thrift store, and I got a shirt and cut a square in the jeans and. Put this shirt through the square of the jeans, and I kind of and I kind of just glued it. Okay. It was the start. It was it the was beginning yeah, of it all. I was like, like 15. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm glad you remembered that. And do you have a dream fashion item you've had your eyes on for the long for a long time that you haven't been able to get your hands on just yet? Like items? Yeah. Um, The Silver Surfer Supreme um, leather jacket. Hell yeah. yeah and do you have a fashion designer you'd like to collab with? Um, not not collab with, but more as me. Um, Wells Bonner. Um, Pharrell. Um, there's so many, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Okay, th thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hi, what's your name? Uh, my name is Jared, and uh, this is my brand. Walk me through your outfit today. All right, so we'll start with the top. Like I said, this is my brand. It is called You Know What You Know. Nice velour uh, top. You don't feel it real quick. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Sauce. And then we got the um, Telfar on the pants. Um, these are Telfar you don't see every day. Oh, you know? I see. Actually, the this is really my first time wearing a uh, flare right now. Yeah, so I have not seen these. These came out kind of cool. And then um, and the, the stitching pants. on the pants also go with the color scheme of your fit. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, that's why I did it. The orange stitching with mm -hmm. the orange top. And the shoes? And the shoes are actually Bottega uh, puddle boots. Oh, yeah. I and see so you. they're kind of like an orange and yellow. I kind of did it to match like what accent I did on the uh, actual logo itself and then um and then this is actually just a little accessory that i just got inside the intro um this is an artist her name is uh Mushi. can we and see the piece you got 100 and uh, i'm just a big fan of color and quality and uh also just pieces that you really don't see anywhere else have so exactly. this is exactly that and you should definitely go check this out as well as you should check my brand out and it is you know what you know at you know w h dot a t you know and then my Instagram is at Jared, J-A-R-O-D, E-E-R-D, Jared Burke. And what's your fashion inspiration? Um, my fashion inspiration is honestly just my life. Just whatever I go through and the colors that I see. 
Yeah, I would say that's my passion. Do you remember the very first thing you ever designed? I do actually. I uh, I would never do this again, but I actually uh, sat on my floor in my room and I sewed a I sewed a pair of pants for like not three days straight, but I sewed a pair of pants for three days. It took me three days, and I would never do it again, but I'll never forget it because it taught me a lot. And I, I, I'll never forget the feeling of being uh, so accomplished after I finished it. Do you have a dream fashion item that you've had your eyes on for a long time that you haven't been able to get your hands on just yet? Mm, that's actually a great question. Um, I forget. It, oh, it's a, a Mason Margiela. Um, Rick, no, 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 it's just a Mason Margiela, uh, I believe, uh, belt jacket. It's like a brown belt jacket, and I believe that's the, the brand. But yeah, that would, be the, that would be the piece, I would say. And do you have a fashion designer you would love to collab with? Yeah, I actually, uh, I would love to collaborate with uh, Kid Super. I actually really like Kid Super, he's tough. Because he also embodies the same things that I embody, it's, it's just color and creativity. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, Enjoy the you. rest of your evening. I love the fit. Feel me? Yes, we got the whole walkway right here. Oh, you already know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? My name is Zach. Nice to meet you. Can you walk me through your outfit today? Yeah, sure. So this is a puffer vest. This is a brand called You Know What You Know. Everything you see is hand sewed, patchwork. You know, got the little thermal underneath, a little light orange thermal. Got the grizzly cargos on, the baggy, baggy cargos. And we got the Bottega Veneta coat. The Bottega's on the feet. Okay, you look nice and comfy. Do you have a fashion inspiration? My fashion inspiration is honestly just be yourself. Wear whatever you want. But with that being said, you can go off of it. Not go off of it, but just look around you. Like, I'm not saying take people's style, but just, you know, just everybody's different. See what everybody wears and just throw it on. Just make it work. Do you have a dream fashion item you've had your eyes on for a long time you haven't been able to get your hands on? Mm. Ah, that's a tough one. Probably, probably the Ricks. You need me a pair of Ricks. Like the shoes? Yeah, the shoes. Rick shoes. And if you were a fashion designer, who would you love to collab with first? I would love to collab with Off White because I love Off White. I love Virgil's work. Rest in peace to Virgil. He's truly an icon. A person that really inspired me to just start putting stuff on. Just be yourself. And I want to fly with my Thank you so much for your time. Loving the fit.